It's time for us to continue on. So, uh, before we ended, uh, uh, our new uh, specialist uh, trainer said that somebody wanted to see us in the shuttle bay. Let's go see what he's got to say. fields months ago I lost a lot of friends that day I lost my husband I grieved said goodbye made my peace you were talking to him when the collectors hit I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. <clears throat> or at least I thought. <clears throat> then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in the pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. I hope I didn't leave you hanging too long on that last Cerberus raid. I'm just glad we made it up in one piece. It's been a while Good since we've been a dogfight like that. Really missed my trident. ACM isn't really the Kodiak strong suit. <laughs> the, the dog there cracks me up. Um. <laughs> let's see. Um. I can upgrade weapons. These aren't that expensive. 
He said, not a fan of that weapon. I can't wait to get another one. Um, I'll go ahead and upgrade this. Um, and I'll go ahead and upgrade this. Uh, particle rifle. That, that's a new weapon. Um... It's heavy. It doesn't have much damage. It's got a good, I guess, capacity. Um, good fire rate. Good accuracy. Uh, after the repair, literally, eh. Shoot down, powerful soul rifle. Modify the fire without thermal clips or specialized ammo. Sense this greed that appeared to share some principle of collector. Da -da. Yeah. Let me make sure it's not. I don't want it as. I'm gonna stay with that. See, anything new on the. Anything new for sale? Um. Increased rounds per magazine. So basically that gives you actually more shots in the magazine. Interesting. Uh, Spectre still can't afford any of this. And actually, I don't want none of this. I kind of want uh, whatever the hell that weapon was I had before. <clears throat> All right. Let's go. All right. All right, so, um, we already, uh, just looted everything that's, uh, lootable in here, as far as, uh, as assets recovered, so, um, there's something, there it is. Uh, I don't like the fuel consumption. We're gonna have to upgrade our fuel. All right. Well, let's just take a quick gander here. Do a little bit of exploring, I guess. So that's in a Batar and Homeworld. <laughs> Yo, cool. Nothing else here. No, okay. Alright, that's a hundred percent for this system. Is that a full fuel? Is there anything close by? Let's you know, let's take a chance. Thank you. 
Why am I getting a hit on? I found something. Oh, we're only able to do one scan here right now, so. <clears throat> Duel? Okay. That'll help us get back, so that's good. Credits. Okay, cool. Money's always good. All right, let's go get out of here. All right, so this uh, system is 100% done. We can go ahead and get out of here. Go ahead, uh, take a look at this place. Well, he's 100% done for asset scans. I mean, there could be a mission there later on. A lot of... Wait, I had a hit. Signal confirmed. That should be fuel. Hopefully. Cool. This Let's just see how far away these other systems are. I'm holding off on scanning. I just want to see if I get a, uh, a hit, you know, pre-ping hit. Now, the planets won't give me a pre-ping hit, unfortunately. I found something. Ooh. Special Ops Team Zeta. That's good, right? And... All right. All right. That's everything from here. Problem is I don't have much fuel at all, unfortunately. Um... I'm getting some, I think, uh, a whole bunch of guys coming from that way. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, Citadel's flashing. Let's go to the Citadel, see what's going on. Commander, do you need transportation? I'm yeah. heading into the hospital. Yes, Commander. I just see uh, Ashley's up. No, nothing. So. Uh, pillar of strength, battalion artifact, recovered, find someone on the citadel who can use them. Into 
Maybe someone in the embassy? Uh, I, oh, I still can't find anyone that for that medical thing. You'd think that'd be here. Let's go to the embassy, see if there's a... Uh... Commander Shepard, one moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. So I'm kind of curious, though, still. You know, if I hadn't done, uh, what was it, that arrival mission in the last game, um, what would have happened? I don't see anyone as of right now who can use this stuff. So, and that's how we'll get access to other parts of the Citadel later on. <clears throat> so I guess we'll Unless there's someone here on this deck that can use them. Mm, no one of interest is listed on the map, so. <clears throat> Sorry. Go ahead, um... Go to, uh... <clears throat> this one here, I guess. Okay, well, we got a fuel depot here. That's always a good thing. Alright, so I do have fuel. Just scanning to see if there's anything <clears throat> collectible in this uh, system. Alright, let's, uh, how far away is this one? Yeah, let's go over here real quick. fuel there <clears throat> all right cool I found uh, somebody with the uh, flow to Ila from a flotilla. Nor fuel. Alright, that's a hundred percent. that actually took credits away from you or not.
something. Hmm. Yeah, we need to run as soon as we get this. <coughs> Excuse me. Banner of the first regime. Run away! Reapers eluded. I've eluded those Reapers. There's something else to get there. All right, let's go ahead and do this mission. Then we'll go back and... Oh, no, I said use money, okay. Because it said, once the Reapers are, you have to go do a mission before, uh, before, uh, what do you call it? I guess you get a breather. Um... I guess I can't use him yet. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's go, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So I'm good with what I've got. Um, All right, let's go. I'm good. I need a. I need some more points so I can get some weapons. And actually, <clears throat> I need. Um, which one is the one that gives me weight? Um, I thought there was. Was it? I could have swore. Or did I already get weight? Yeah, I already got weight. Hmm. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go with the. So we can either do increase recharge speed or. Do that. I'm gonna do the additional damage. I like the. I like that incinerator. It's actually, uh, you know, it's actually done good for me. Um, I'm gonna hold on to your points for the time being. I mean, are you guys even putting a dent into them? Holy shit. and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Worse. Yes. Oh. Uh. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. I hope ammo is not an uh, issue here. Oh, it was. Come on. 
a pyromaniac. <laughs> Alright, pass for the barricade. Alright, roger that. Let me just take a look around here. Let's... Okay, I can't go that way? Okay. Didn't know, just wanted to see. Uh, this way. Can you climb that? No. Alright. We're just looking to see if there's any kind of codex entries or anything like that here. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope there's no time limit on this thing. Yeah, I mean, how do you stop a ship like that? <clears throat> yes, please hold your fire. <laughs> The train is our only bench here, and that's not going to last forever if they keep throwing their forces at us. Hold the series as long as we can. I'm linking my transponder to life signal monitoring system of the units. Dude, if it goes out, send another unit here ASAP. Oh, wait. Pick what up? Um. 97 Viper I think I was using the 97 in the um the ways so yeah so the lines are what I'm comparing it to so it weighs less than the Viper more ammo better fire rate less damage same accuracy. <clears throat> um, I'll go with that just because of the capacity. Why not? Although, does that mean I have to demod? Oh, I can't demod that right now. Because I can get the damage. Because uh, this here, well, that's actually showing me how much damage that we got from that. Uh, so I'm careful. Blah blah blah. Yeah, we'll go with that. on that north barricade yes sir sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational sir general commander shepherd heard you were coming but i didn't believe it general corinthus i've come to get primark fedori primark fedorian is dead his shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon that's going to complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. Yeah, that didn't work out. Strategy. 
just irrelevant exactly the sheer force of the reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic the primarch and his men found that out the hard way <coughs> i'm sorry i hear he was a good man and a friend he would have been an outstanding diplomat so what happens now the turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession right General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Believe it to me. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. the comm tower to the left of the main barricade in front of palavin let's go no we're not done uh we're not done looking for goodies here yet so i got a pistol mod So, uh, it allows bullets to pierce half meter thick objects, but at 60% reduced damage, ignores 20% of defenses on armored targets. I don't know. So what does that mean if a target doesn't have, let's say, armor? Does this damage reduction go away? Um, I don't know. Hmm. Not 100% sure how that works. Oh wait, I can go ahead and uh... Oh wait, it, wait the, it modded over automatically? Oh, that's cool. Do I have anything for the automatic rifle? Mod wise? No. Well, I'll take that. So now, that, that mod, this uh, actually, oh, come on, get up. Come on, come on Shepard, climb man, climb. Okay, fine, you can. It that way. Now I figure I might as well get as much as I can out of these guys because I hate to say it, they're all probably going to die here, so it won't be of any use to them. Uh, send us winter gear, not sure if that's a two with the gun here. Uh, power source can be kind of like converted to power. Yeah, it's nice to... Right, oh, I guess I go out this way. this and twice on the scimitar oops uh, I'll continue however let's go to this one over here I think that's a shotgun <clears throat> yeah this dude here uses a shotgun Scimitar, slightly better for capacity and fire rate. 
not so good on the rate so I mean that I'm guessing one maybe two shots if that and can fire fractionally faster but for the plus damage so no you keep it what you got um let me see here so does that mean I can shoot through walls I mean 0. 0.50 meter thick that's a half a meter I mean the meters you know that's like a foot and a half I hope they don't I hope this isn't all right, you know, before I commit to this, let me just validate this. Fact three, assault, rifle, piercing mod. Um, all right, so. Alright, so... Alright, so based on what somebody says here, if they're not, if I don't need a penetrate cover or an obstacle to hit their target, the weapon will do normal damage, um, which includes visual armor. Um, and okay, so, all right, <coughs> excuse me, all right, cool, all right, so we'll go with that then. I mean, we'll get a first-hand test of it. So, I guess um, the guys that are carrying around the shields, this could potentially, you know, go through the shields and... or, or help reduce their shields. Okay, I, I think he's dead, dude. Yeah, just, just letting you know, buddy. Shooting that husk over and over and over again is not gonna change the fact that it's dead. Is my uh... Oh damn, why did that thing reset? Oh shit! Oh. I try, try to punch him to begin with. People, we are moving. Let's get out of here before the next wave starts coming this way. But then again, I still gotta look around. See if there is anything of value here. Okay, so that's what we need to work on. We just do a gander here. We can't repair it from this panel. Um James, you're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. I'd rather have a uh, singularity lady with me. Here they come. Ready, Liara? Where the hell they just magically appear from?
Hey there, you wanna fucking help? I'm just saying. Oops. General, do you read? The comm tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palavin Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard up. Am I just chilling here to kill bad guys? Except returning. Run, bitches! Looks like he's got infinite running now. Though, so it looks like he has gotten his fitness up since the first game and the second game. Well, I'm back. Or go this way? Fine, I'll go that way. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus? Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. I'd recognize his voice anywhere. This is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military, gets results, popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tetris during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. You know what? Okay. Let's get if you the trust them, I trust them. Commander, Shepard, come in. Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We 
We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Yes. Do it. <clears throat> Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Cool deal. Alright, well, let's get the Garrus set up now. Alright, Garrus, what do we got here? Take a look at uh, what we got. So, pretty sure this is something I want to take up to 100. Um, just let me see which path I want. So, obviously, taking this up to first three, no questions asked on that. So, health, shield, or weapon damage? Um, I'm gonna go with weapon damage, I think. And then... I think I'm gonna do top, bottom, bottom. Or we could go bottom, bottom, bottom. Because that's weapon damage, that's a gener general weapon damage. And then these are specific weapon damages. Uh, let's see, proximity mine. Proximity mine into traffic, then aid when enemy steps into range. Armor piercing ammo. Overload. Concuss of shot. Um, proximity mine could be beneficial. Um... We could look at that. That increases the radius for damage. All sources. Um, armor piercing ammo. Armor piercing ammo definitely could help. Choices, choices, choices. I'm gonna hold off on overload for the moment, but let's see here. Um, all right, so 20% there. I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna go top, bottom, bottom. Yeah, let's do that. Top, bottom, bottom, okay. I think I'm gonna have you do some proximity mines, so I'll give you three in that. Um, for the moment. Armor piercing ammo. I'll give you three in that as well. And then... Cuss of shot. So I can either do one more in these, or I can give you a concussive shot. But you actually already have one concussive shot, so uh, that actually put you at level two, which is a faster recharge. Um, so what's a, so this here does more damage or larger AOE. Or we could have you do, um, give you some more health. Or squad ammo. Um, I think we'll have you do proximity mine. Um, do that. 
Alright, cool. And we uh, let's take a look at your weapon, buddy. Uh, let's go over here to the weapon modifier, which is um, on this one here. <clears throat> Alright, so you're using that and that. So, okay, so it seems, and maybe I'm wrong on this, um, all right, so as long as I've unlocked the weapon, it's not like I only have one or two of those weapon types. All right. Now, apparently you're not affected by weight, so... I'll give you a particle rifle just to see how that works for you. I mean, it does a little bit less damage, but it's got a higher fire rate, higher capacity, more accuracy, so... Uh, for you, I don't think I've got any mods for the shotgun. Oh, I do. Uh, increased damage by 15% um, and then So then Yeah, uh, we'll let you have that one there and then now that I know that it's, I thought it was limited in quantity. All right, on a weapon mod and whatnot, but I see how it works now. Now, I wanted to change to this. Yeah, it increases my recharge time. Uh, okay, this is, can I shoot my gun here? Alright. Now this is heat based. Accuracy is top notch though. Now what's my cooldown on this? Um actually I think will will this show what my cooldown is on incinerate? So yeah, it does actually. So 10 second cooldown as opposed to uh what was that before? I'm not a fan of that. Technically, that actually does more damage than that other gun. Now, the good thing about this gun is it doesn't actually require ammo. It just needs to charge up on its own. Oh, and because I'm underweight, that's why, okay. Oh, that's a, that's a tough call, really. So what if I drop my sniper rifle? Because if I drop my sniper rifle, I can do that. And my power recharge is good. In fact, power recharge, I can knock. I'm gonna take a chance with this. Because I don't necessarily see using my sniper rifle right now. Because. So, what happens if I, like. How long does it take to recharge? 
All right, so as long as I don't take it to that point, it, re it has a fairly good recharge. All right, let's go, guys. <clears throat> Actually, um, uh, hell. Let's all go to that. Let's see how that works for us. I hope this doesn't bite, us, bite me in the ass. But actually, you know, this is what we do. We save here, because if this bites us in the ass, I can just undo that and uh, we're good. Um, so where are we going? That way, okay. Ah, to this gate here. Jane, that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Just me? Or do those reapers look like Turians? You're right. They do. Don't cross the beams. Not so bad, actually. Damn, nice combo. We're done here. That guy went boom. That's not so bad. <clears throat> Yo. Know. Let's see, you're using, uh, you're automatically using fortification. Um, you'll, autom you'll automatically use the other shit, so. So. It doesn't look like there's anything here. So is that a Geth ship or is that a is that one of their ships? Because oops, walking into a wall. I mean, it looks like one of their ships, as in um, Turians. All right, so I got another mod uh, for automatic rifle or assault rifle. An automatic assault rifle? Uh Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primark, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. First things first. I got a new um new mod for this. Uh magazine capacity. Okay, hey, I mean how would that affect this? Can it put it past what it already has? I mean, we'll find out.
I'm giving you all the mods there are, right? Yep. That actually did. It gives you 140. Nice. I see the ladders up, uh, down now. Yes, up, down, all around. I see a big gun. Let's go use a big gun. The fuck is that? Holy hell! What is that thing? That's what I just asked. Now what the hell will happen there, Shepard? Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. Huh. Yeah, you know, I like the, the, this beam gun. The three of us having it. That brute was no match. But let's not get uh, too excited, though. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. We'll find trouble. You're, it's it's me you're talking about. We're gonna find trouble. Took out a frigate. Man, how many people? Oh my god. Would you look at that? I see it. Holy crap. Those fighters aren't even making a dent. No, they're not. I'm with you, Garris. We're good. I'm guessing that's a no no return. No, that's okay. Damn it! Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. No oh, shit! I'm sorry, man. You still have family there? My dad. A sister. Oh. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, yeah. we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. That's yeah, still. Still, they just ignored my ass. On one hand, it serves them right. But then... Leaving the fight. 
fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Oh, there's another one of those bird things. You okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. <coughs> oh, shit. General Victus. Half hour ago. Headed south. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. Sniper ammo. That's cool. Commander, how many troops in that crash? 50? 75? I'm not sure. Sounds right. Hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down. Not to mention the men serving on her. Yeah. Yeah. We should go. They said the Primarch was headed south. Wait, that's... That's one of our ships, isn't it? No. There's... The Alliance wouldn't be sending... We're the only Alliance here. That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. No survivors. Damn it. Crash like that, it's not surprising. So, Loco, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Well, we might be able to get Rex or Grunt to help us out. I mean, those are, I mean, theoretically, I still have an ally with Rex and Grunt. Oops. Are y'all both with me? Come on, Garrus. The hell is that thing? For goodies, though, uh, there's another one of those brute things. All right, use your Ghostbuster guns. As I uh, look around for goodies. An upgrade, enhanced scope, cool.
been a brutal fight for these guys. But the tide turned. It's been a brutal fight as you're fighting a brutal. <laughs> did my God damn, why did this fucking thing turn off? I didn't change anything. That fight could have been a hell of a lot easier if I had that. Because that doesn't turn it off, right? Right. <clears throat> Looks like things are settling down. What the hell is that? Oh, never mind. Okay, that's not a weapon I can just flat out use. Oh wait, that's a heavy weapon. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So that's just a that's just a heavy weapon. Never mind. Yes. I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A uh, commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Awesome. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. I apologize for being so frank, Commander, but your plan feels doomed to failure. We know. We've been there before. But, Madam Counselor, let me... 
I'm not the only one that feels this way. The Solarian Dalatras is livid. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Perhaps. Still, we can't help but feel that this summit is a waste of your time, and we can't afford to have it waste ours. We must focus our attention on the arrival of the Reapers. So no, the Asari will not be at your summit. Fuck you, bitch. The would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. Good luck, Commander. And goodbye. Fuck them. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcoin. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Solarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Um... Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit our tourist station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I've presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game, while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. I wonder if there's one already built somewhere and they just haven't finished it. Do you think it's risky <clears throat> building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me, but the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Um, all right. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. <clears throat> all right, let's talk to Harris. No, oh, you're the prime. Thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. 
Is there something else I can help you with? Um. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Paladin, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. I kind of like this guy. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. I can respect that guy. <clears throat> so we got, uh... Found that... Those guys there, so that's a boost, I guess. And uh, support from them, which is good. Uh, Crucible. Oh, yeah, so this is the device, I guess. Um, Javelin missile launcher. I'm using data files. And then the Turians. Found those guys. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the weapons battery and... Uh, Find Garrus. That's not good. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean offline? I don't know. She's not responding. I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. I'm on it. Com systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. Oh, I know what it, I know. What's happening? It's that that thing we brought on board. Shouldn't I have a gun? Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. I don't know your lead. Joke, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. It could be an electrical fire or something. It's not no. I'm going in. I know what it is. It's that lady we brought on board. Edie, talk to me. I see the visor. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? <laughs> Edie? Yes. Looking good, Edie. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? 
Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. Oh, I bet he will. On that, we can agree. <laughs> well, I knew she was gonna. I, I knew that at some point we were gonna have have her as a companion or something. Uh, I just wasn't expecting Edie to take it over. Was that Edie who just walked by? Yeah. Yes, it was. And Joker is going to have a field day with this. Oh, he sure is. Oh yeah, let me go talk to Karis before I go up and talk to Joker. <laughs> uh, who knows, maybe Joker will hook up with Edie. I mean, I don't know how functional she is. Two of our dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. He's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. And not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and C-Sec agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? Yeah, let's talk about this stuff here. You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. What about you? Any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. Haven't heard from her since Earth got hit. I'm sure sh she's okay. <laughs> I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. 
If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. Yeah, that's actually a very valid point. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out for all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. Let me guess. He laughed in your face. Amazingly, no. He just listened. My father may have been a pain in the ass about rules and regulations, but he never let politics cloud his judgment. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie, play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. <laughs> okay. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Now, if you'd like to see the new young girl... <laughs> or piercing ammo unlocked. Available in medbay. What? Let me go to the medbay. How's that available in the med bay? Good to see you, come on. That's a that's respec. Wait, that's reassigned powers, that's reassigned power bonuses. I don't What does that mean? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that Hmm, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break, and I'll be back in a few moments. I'm gonna press on.
All right, so I'm gonna check something out here. Let's reassign power bonuses. I'm gonna Google this because I just I don't understand what this is. Um, reassign. Good spell. Sign our bonuses. Oh, Mass Effect 3, not 2. Um, so, because I don't know what power bonus um, so shepherd powers and bonuses, uh, shepherd's powers and bonus power plus the power of all major, so the nice exception of sunset can be resigned at the terminals, med bay. You can immediately re reallocate shepherd's points from the squad screen, but you won't be able to reallocate squad mate points until you've taken the log, yeah, whatever. Um, So, bonus powers. But what does it replace? I'm confused. Um. Each player class is able to learn one. <clears throat> These are unlocked through conversations. Each squad member can unlock two bonus powers since actually Williams. Um, unlock both powers from each new power pen. Unfortunately, it doesn't necessarily. It's uh, I guess I'm um that doesn't tell me shit. But I guess my question is I get the I get my power um, I, I guess I'm uh, Lost on, I guess. Or, you know, what, um, is, uh, I don't know, it's, I guess if I go and I resign it, because when I look at this, what am I replacing? Because these bonus powers, based on what I understand here, uh, I've unlocked because fortifi fortification that I unlocked from James. Um. Armor piercing ammo I got from Garrus and Slam I got from uh Davik. Okay. Um but what 
would it replace? Okay, actually, you know what? Here we go. Um, if I, you know, let's do this. Let's save real quick. And yeah, let's see what happens when I do this. So let me go with armor piercing. Uh, ammo, just for a second. So now where does that show up? All right. So now let's see what happens. Okay. So I get one of those right off the bat. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So easy enough. Just wanted to, like I said, test it out. Let me, let me make sure it didn't. So it'll give me one of those down here, but but honestly, I'm not interested in, um, not at the moment, I'm not interested in uh, these. So I'm okay. Um, let me go down to engineering, take a look at um, some weapon stuff real quick. All right, so that's actually not a bad gun. You know, it's just, you know, it'll take a little bit of time to get used to. Um, I'm good on that. And actually, so I can only look at my stuff, huh? Too bad I can't look at, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, so this is... Improve weapon damage, ammo capacity, and weight. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Um... And let me see. Sorry, full grand magazine. Well, the one I have, because well, oh no, the one I have gives me four thousand. Um, and Spectre, I can actually buy some Spectre shit. So that's a, a shotgun. That's a pistol. I, th I think I may have been using that last game. I don't remember. I don't remember which one I was using. Um, Defender Armor is a variation on the 7. Uh, built to protect soldiers in the long run. So it gives me extra ammo, capacity, weapon damage, shields, and health. Um, versus what I have right now, which gets that takes away it gives me shield regeneration so keep that one uh, headshot and weapon damage at the cost of some health. Melee, I would. Uh, legs gives me weapon damage again at the cost of health. Don't know how the legs give me a health boost or a weapon boost. Oh, um, health, health, oh, I'm sorry, that's health. I, so I can't change that because I lose my health on that. Weapon and headshot at the cost of health, or I can go to health. <clears throat> that gives me health, melee, don't care about melee. Weapon. So, you yeah, know, I'll go with those. So what does that turn my health down to? So I don't know if that includes this. That's 625. All right, now just out of curiosity, if I change that back, I'm gonna change this back. Oops. That puts me at 
So it says 6.5 here. So is that my base health? Um, without my armor? We'll find out on our uh, our next encounter, I suppose. Hey there, dog. All right, let's go. Uh, so let's go see how Joker. Um, what well, Joker thinks of the new Edie. I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Are you? Uh, of course. Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper Invasion Front will hit them soon. I remember uh, Grissom Academy. We sent that one kid there. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Oh. Long story. In any event, Whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated, but I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Commander? Any new emails? You mean purgatory? Oh, I remember her. But, uh, you might go on pissing on the club on Citadel called Purgatory. Okay. Uh, wait, is she up? Oh, definitely gotta go see her. Um,. Uh, guys, it looks like uh, we're going back to uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Citadel. Response. Um, all right. <clears throat> A whole bunch of shit on the Citadel, apparently. All right. A whole bunch of shit on the Well, then again, there's nothing really else on the map, so... Other than Grissom Academy. <laughs> Where's Edie? Oh, there she is. Hey, Commander. Check out my co-pilot. So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that. Yeah. I went back to cake. <laughs> I am right here, Jack. <laughs> 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 oh, Joker. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. 
Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> I'll be over here, flying the ship. <laughs> What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? Oh, he does. No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. <coughs> Very well. I will keep you informed. Yes, Shepard? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, <coughs> but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I knew that was a joke. That was a good one, too. <laughs> How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. 
so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. That's... yeah. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Okay. All right, so I guess we're going back to the Citadel. Suppose we could go talk to, um, um, let's actually go down real quick. Um, talk to. They survived into this cycle? Yes, we called them collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. <laughs> Alright. That voice, I, I just need to do a quick check here. Um... Oops. I want to see... Uh, his voice sounds so familiar. Um, Jerry, 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 Jerry. This is Mass Effect 3, right? Yeah. Um, Rajavik. Is that the only one? Yeah. Why does, why does he play then? Where have I heard him before? Um, I don't know. I don't recognize him uh, <clears throat> from any movies or TV series. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it just, it, it has a familiar sound to it. I am feeling better, Commander. I stand ready to fight. Do not be concerned about me. The years in stasis have only made me hungrier to fight the Reapers. Sounds good, okay. Um... How are you doing? Nothing to report, Commander. Carry on, then. Let's go talk to Liara real quick. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus. I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Oh, so it looks like since I turned you away, that yeah, you're going up against, uh, who are you going to try to hook up with? What's his name? So, weapon damage or ammo? Um... Go oh, with this one. Um, service operations, check out these implants, check out the gender face, uh, she's awake, you in trouble, up in trouble. Okay. Um. A 
Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean Shepherd? There's so much he could tell us. <laughs> Dude. At your service. I mean... Who knows? Maybe you can have little blue Protheans. There's a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, anyone that bonds or mates with a... a sorry. The babies are all sorry in appearance. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, all right, so I don't think there's anything in this system. So before we go back to the Citadel, um, let's go back over here real quick. So we did do a mission. All right, fuel, that's it. All right, well, nothing more to do here then. All right, so this system is uh, done. Well, at least I don't have to go mining damn planets now. I mean... Oh, we got a... That's, uh... New planets have opened up. Oh, that, yeah, somebody wants me to do something there. So we'll go there before uh, we go back to the Citadel. Because the guy on the Citadel wants me to go there. Um... Let's go uh, here real quick. Let's do it. All right, who am I gonna take? You know, this will be a good time for Edie. Um, we'll take Garrus and uh, let's see here the Miranda outfit. Hmm. The half naked outfit. Actually, not the half naked, just more different version of cleavage, if you will. I think. Go with a Black Widow outfit. Incinerate, overload, defense, decoy, and shackle. Power recharge. She's got an arm. Wait. Hold on. Oh, I did not know that this had a uh, effect on. Uh... Uh, wait. Power recharge speed, right? Shields. Power recharge speed. Power damage. Which is. That's your original. I'm gonna go, go with that. And then for Garrus, that's shields, weapon damage, weapon damage, shields. We're gonna go with uh, weapon damage. So we got that one and that one, right? All right.
Uh, so we'll go with that one. <clears throat> Alright, now for Edie, um, I don't think I've got any mods. Actually, no, I do have mods, so. More rounds and armor piercing. All right. And then some machine gun. So, okay. And superior lightweight alloy, place weapon parts making less obtrusive, easier to handle. Sure, why not? I mean, I don't think weight is a factor for you per se. However, what I could do myself. Let me just see what. Yeah, it wouldn't it would not hurt to have an extra weapon just in case this runs dry and this runs dry. So having an extra weapon wouldn't hurt. I, I lose a little bit of recharge. Um, but I think I can. Um, that's okay. And then for Hikaris, we do have a new scope. Uh, that actually gives damage and accuracy. Or what, uh, ammo capacity. Yeah, I don't think ammo capacity is too much of a deal with you. Oh no, so actually, no, I'm sorry. Because damage is coming from that. Um, I'm going to give you capacity. I don't know. Um, let, me, let me see here. Just curious. Ass. Effect three two weapon mods matter for companion. Um All right, so don't need to do anything with capacity or accuracy because um, Okay, so capacity is actually a benefit. Mm. Okay, cool. Just wanted to <clears throat> so uh, based on what the capacity affects how many times they can shoot before they have to reload not how much overall because um, that actually says right there increasing the number of spare shots to their thermal clip so they'll fire that weapon more before they have to reload uh, accuracy is not really a factor um, so I'm not going to worry about the accuracy of the scope mod um, 
All right. I think we're good to go. Now, for Edie, I got 10 points to spend too. Edie, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, this is her primary, Unshackled AI. So. All right, so power or health, and then tech power, weapon damage, uh, shield recharge, tech, okay. Uh, distract the opponents with a decoy, uh, incinerate. Incinerate's a good one, I like incinerate. I use it, so I'm gonna give it to you as well. Um, at least up to that point. Overload, that's also a good one. Defense matrix, first armor with protective, uh, purge corner, clearance, restore shields. Um, we'll hold off on that one. Uh, we'll give you a overload. Decoy, um, distract, <clears throat> recharge, duration, duration, shields, uh, shock, um, you actually have a lot of points to spend, um, good. So, power, I think we'll go with, ah, uh, damn it. It's only 20%. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the, I'm gonna take, um, Hmm. I'm almost tempted to take the top. Uh, top line is, all, is what I'm almost tempted to take. Almost, but tech power. So I could do that one, and then that one. Because I, th I think that could apply to that, maybe. Well, I mean, power damage versus tech power. I don't know what <clears throat> power damage is this power damage? I mean, is incinerate? I mean, that technically is power, right? It's not tech. I mean, um, or. That's nine. Um, damn it. I'm almost thinking about top, bottom, top. Um, yeah. So that one, and then that one. Is that all affect? Uh, tech powers. Um, if you know, uh, I'm thinking about doing this because if um, if I'm not going to boost a shield, at least having the uh, reduced recharge could be beneficial. Um, so yeah, we'll go with this one here. And defensive matrix, reinforce armor with recurrence, purchase currents to restore shields, slow down power use. Don't know what that means, slow down power use.
Kursk. I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Garrus, um, well, I can always do something more for him later. Um, I'm thinking about topping off incinerate. <clears throat> Increase damage to frozen and chill targets by an additional 100% or increase damage to armor targets by 50%. I'm thinking the armor targets versus the frozen targets. Um, that's a tough call. What did I choose here? Uh, increase damage versus recharged and here I went with damage versus impact radius um because that only works if I'm using the cryo iron <coughs> cryo ammo which I currently am using however um for the guys that have shields and whatnot I think this will help out so I'm gonna go with this um, I got four, so I can get disruptor ammo. Uh, I could do a fit, uh, a fitness. Uh, I'm gonna go with that actually. All right. Um, you got three points left. I'm gonna hold off because I, uh, I don't know about defense matrix. Let me see. Uh, let me, uh, let me just take a look here because I'm not 100 percent sure. Defense matrix. Um, the defense matrix which are, uh, slows power use by sixty percent. Um, because that's that's the thing that's throwing me off. Is it says, um, the power use penalty at rank one is not sixty percent overall reduction. To, a recharge speed but a 60 cent point reduction of the power recharge speed bonus visible in the wheel loadout screen for example if you have 200 percent power charge speed um when looking at the weapon screen activating rank one defense matrix reduces that power to speed 140. Uh, so I'm so conf you know, I don't know. So I'm gonna hold off on that for now, and for his, I'm gonna hold off for the moment. Um. I could give you two ranks of this. You know, it wouldn't hurt, I suppose. Um, or we can go with, I can give you another one here. <coughs> you know, I'll go ahead and do this one. Screw it. who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you get me a diversion? <laughs> oh, boy, can I? Well, a diversion that doesn't get the normally blown up, preferably, please. <clears throat> Coming 
Now, with me taking Eevee, who's doing your countermeasures? Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. We'll be back. I'm sorry, wait, I'm sorry. I'll be back. Hey, let's see how uh, how you are. All right. And do a quick check here. I mean, you should use all your stuff, so it only shows me. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when the Eevee's outfit changed. changed. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here, well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Prover. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring him back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Hold up. Wait, I want to see. Is there anything else in that room? Why are you... Did you... I'm confused. What happened to your outfit? She was wearing like the Black Widow outfit.
There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders and security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. That's not what I call playing dead, buddy. Well, I keep feeling better than shit, but I'm worried I don't think they're gonna have to pull up that. This is like the X-Men Academy. Your opponent's prone to 2 o'clock, your opponent's prone to 2 o'clock, both holding heavy weapons, most effective way to take him down. Dock wave, similarity, followed by warp. Dock wave, and then I go and shut it underneath your barrier with hold. Uh. No, I hope that wasn't the sister. Don't know why I wanted to do that. That's a shotgun. None of us are using. No, that's ammo. Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Mnemonic visor. Okay. Ah, now that gun there. <clears throat> We're not gonna. That's the one uh, that I was using last game that I liked. However, this, we'll see how this uh, energy weapon does. I'm there. Jack. Shepherd. He's got hair. support.
No, as long as it's not mechs, we're okay. SOS. I had no idea the King of the Boy Scouts would show up. All right. <clears throat> Frankly, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. <laughs> Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> uh, damn it! How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic. I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes tops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Okay, time to go, guys. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. We will. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. Yeah, I have to talk to her. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? <sighs> They'd be better off as support. Put him in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. <laughs> and these guys... <laughs> Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. I guess I do like the new Jack. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base. Throwing husks around, making shockwaves all over the place. Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk him to death. <laughs> well, what? it's like a biotic... Isn't that the kind of thing you wanted to destroy on Pragya? You know damn well it wasn't. Cerberus was torturing kids on Pragya. These guys are older, and they volunteered, and the only ones feeling any pain are the bad guys. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. All right, let's see. Anything, uh... Let's see. Who wants me to go... Find a laptop? Okay. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep servers from boxing you in. Yeah, because, uh, obviously, way too many kids up there to put onto our shuttle, right? You really think we're getting out of here? 
How many are there? One, two, three, four, five. There's only five. Plus Jack. This is six. Plus the other two we found. Plus, so there's total nine. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. Yeah. Wonder why she never made. I can't believe you and our teacher work together. With both of you here, maybe we've got a chance. How's your aunt? I think I told a muscle in my brain. Just drink your juice. You'll be fine. Um, that door's closed. That door's closed. I didn't see a lap top in here to access. All right, look at that. But nothing in this room, right? That door's closed. That door's closed. Uh, probably this one right here. Uh, let me grab that first though. Um, Bring back live up Prangly. It was Prangly. Maybe I need something other than some hot new alien. Rodriguez. You. They want you bad, huh? should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Um... Ryan Hall... One of these doors up here? Said directly above a door. Man, I don't know where the atrium is. Down here, maybe? Oh, atrium. Okay. Tell me anything more there, but it said find manual overrides. You said they were above the door. I mean, unless they're in here, but technically these are really above the door. Oh, there it is. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. Second level and hit those those guys from above. 
A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right, I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be half. Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go. There's a warning shot. Oh shit, sorry Evie. We can go through that side area. We can. <clears throat> we gotta look to see if there's any goodies here. Cause you never know what you're gonna find. And I'm pretty certain I'm not coming back here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, genetic testing. Who's years retrieve for further testing? Let me just make sure we're all good out here with respect to any data pads or upgrades are just sitting on the ground as long as there's not a to uh, countdown clock I should be okay right
Oh, that was Eevee using decoy. That's right, I forgot Eevee's got that decoy ability. Actually, bad team. Yeah, where'd yours go? Come on, yours. Yes. Let me wait for Garrett to. Show up because I don't need him getting. Glad you could join us, Garrus. Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01. David! 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Yes. He rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. He made it quiet. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks. He looks much healthier. I remember you. The Normandy computer. Sorry. No apology is necessary. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Well, let's go get some guns. <clears throat> no. I see a gun. Which I already picked up. Take like that though. So is it, since I picked it up twice, does that mean I uh, said uh, the Matlock um, ninety six two? Uh, does that mean uh, if you pick up the same weapon, it upgrades it? That's what it looks like. Uh, I don't see anything else in here. So. This David really doesn't know what lots is. That's okay though. Free upgraded weapon. I'll take it. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. Okay. 
Can I ride this thing? I got to. You give me a nice toy like this? Now we're playing what? Titanfall or Rick Warriors? Melee. Okay. Can't move. Oh, sorry, Gears. Pretty fun, sort of. <laughs> All right, let me just let me take a look at these rooms. Make sure there's nothing back here, as I don't want to leave anything behind. I'm gonna check all data pads and whatnot. actually anything here for me so all right let's go guys Kaylee how's it coming shuttles are unlocked take the controls and get the students aboard wait where the hell's Rodriguez
Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <laughs> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Nah, I don't know what Jack wants me this. Damn right they are. Get ready for the big leagues, kids. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Would she have a swear jar or something? Cause I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. <laughs> Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Sir. I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack, well, I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. I'm glad to see he's still alive, at least for now. The uh, hey, we're at twelve hundred. So now is Jack part of our, our crew? I mean, we haven't actually talked to Jack yet. I wonder if she's in her old hidey hole. message from a Miranda Lawson I just got word everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely we wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal nice work thanks commander actually let me go talk to Edie see how uh, see how she liked combat Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have amusing memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the elusive man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. Hello, Shepard. So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the bionics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. I break <laughs> ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. <laughs> All right, well, let's see, last time when Jack was on the ship, you know, we went with Miranda <laughs> and had some fun right above her in the engineering department. So I wonder if she went back to her, her old hidey hole.
Wasn't expecting to see you down here. Commander, I was exploring your ship. Find anything interesting? One of your crew lived in this space. There are traces of anger. That was Jack. Anger was her specialty. Traces of her. Oops. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. Uh, so clearly Jack's not down here. Um, is she one of the... Oh, you know, we haven't talked to the reporter for a while. Let's go talk to the reporter. This is his room. We just don't know why he threw shit on the floor, but yeah, hey, this is his living space. So if you want to do that, so be it. Ooh, that sucks. Footage from Earth reveals the Reapers' plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. All right, let's go. Go down to the shuttle bay. <clears throat> so we should have a technically a third shuttle in here, shouldn't we? You know, a Cerberus one. Do you got anything to say, buddy? I haven't talked to you for a while. What's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home. You take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. <laughs> Uh, let's see. You mentioned a mission you had against the collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar, and I was one of the few to make it out. You want the rest of the story? You're gonna have to get me really drunk, or, or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic. Next topic. Okay. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done? <laughs> makes me look sane. Nah, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Oh yeah, let me see. Uh, let me see what this new armor piece I got was. Um, well, that gives me. Oh no, not that one. I already had that one. It was the chest piece, I believe, right? <clears throat> uh, power damage. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. And I don't. Yeah, let's go ahead and get another one of those. Well, you know, I can get this to uh, Citadel directly, so uh, hold off on that. Um, I 
I mean, we're going to be wanting to sit it out here uh, in a little bit, anyhow. Um, yeah, you know, we got him boost this. Five thousand ain't bad. That is my primary weapon, and the. Well, let's take a let's look here at the weapons. Um, so it's lighter. Technically, it's more accurate. Really, I thought the beam weapon was pretty damn accurate. I'll stay with this. Um. I did get a new mod, so that's a piercing mod, that's ammo mod, um, building mod, which not to worry about, accuracy mod, nah, that's not really that big a deal, I'm good with that then, uh, any new mods on this, uh, that's a, every round it's 25% not using a thermal clip, yeah. Don't worry about that. And the pistol. Alright, nothing good there. Alright, uh, where's there? Let's go to Kudak. No one's in this area. No one here. What about on the other side? Nope. Nope. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars. I think he actually likes them. Yeah, I mean, I like the scars from my last playthrough as well. Dude, if Garrus has anything new to say. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. See, the one thing I liked in the last game is after missions if, if you will it gave you a summary of what you got what you collected and all this other junk on the private messages terminal. <clears throat> no upgrades okay um It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. I don't know, because I don't know where she is. Actually, let's do it this way. Not in my room, okay. Yeah, um... Did we drop them off already? Uh... 
Uh, meet me on Citadel Miranda. And thank you. Right. I need to take a look at something here. Before I... Uh, just to validate what my options are in this. I don't necessarily want to know how to do it. I just want to see what the options are. All right, so... Interesting. All right, so... All right, so we're not going to continue with Miranda. Um, and, you know, the only way we could technically... So Jack, we can't romance, because that only works if we romance her too. Uh, Tally apparently will be joining us at some point. Uh, can't romance her because we didn't romance her in two. Uh, Miranda's the only one we could romance uh, because we did romance her in two. Ashley's an option, and that's the one I actually want to pursue. And Steve, nothing personal, Steve. Um, don't want to go that way. Um, and if I had the female shepherd, I could go after that trainer, Samantha Trainer. Um, I can't romance Kelly because I messed up my damn shit in the last game. I romanced Miranda before I romanced Kelly, so I can't uh, hook up with Kelly. Uh, the doctor, or excuse me, the news reporter, I can technically romance her. I don't know if I want to or not, though. Um... Mm. All right, let's see. Uh, you can romance, really? I didn't even know you could romance Samira in the previous game. That's interesting. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I wasn't planning on romancing her, but it looks like the only one I can really... You know, I'm gonna focus on Ashley this game. You know, we gotta spread spread the wealth, if you will. <clears throat> so we're not gonna. Well, you know, we'll be cordial to Miranda. But I'll take a quick break. We'll be back in a few minutes.
All right, so let's go ahead and head on to the Citadel. Actually, no, before I head to the Citadel, we're going to go, um, uh, cause there's nothing in the system for me, right? I just, I'll just fly around scanning randomly. I don't think, you know, I don't think entering orbit on any of these plants does me any good. So, unless, uh, unless the planet gets tagged by a scan, there's no real reason to do it. Um, was it up here? Yeah. There's something up here that somebody wanted us to get. So... Um, let me, let me actually take a look here, uh, at the, my codex or journal. Um, this, not that. Um, also, man needs a Prothean obelisk to recover it from the Shrek Abyss and deliver it to him Citadel. Okay. Doesn't say where. I mean, just... So let's go. Oh, I don't have. Uh, damn it. Let me. I need a. F let me go and get some fuel first. Um. Where is there? F is there fuel at this place? There's not fuel here, but I can do some scans. There we go. That's fuel. Yeah, you know, that'll be enough fuel. We're gonna go to the other place first. <clears throat> um, Signal confirmed. Is this what we know? That's fuel. Alright, so we got two coming from the. Got three coming from. Alright. Hopefully, this is what we're looking for here. Okay, that's what we wanted. Oh, snap. See you, suckers. Time to go. All right, to the Citadel. So I don't know what happens if we engage in combat with the Reapers. I mean,
Um, let's go to the labs. <clears throat> field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics, anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we can just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now, with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough is near. Hadley, do you have the data? Uh oh. No. The hell is that all about? This is Commander Shepard. I need CSEC at my location now. You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a CSEC alert from this location. Were you harmed? Now you're in that outfit. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark, cold, like I was someplace else. And then? I don't know. A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was... A... You shot Bryson. You killed him. No, I couldn't have. I'm not a murderer. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that. Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed a Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the <coughs> real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. 
I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. The hell? The... Well, I mean, there's an audio log there. I just want to access it yet. Anything else in here? <clears throat> this must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. <laughs> Excuse me. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn off the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garneau appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not stay to destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Well, he mentioned this, uh, and I remember been going to that place before. Does this tell us where Garnon went? No, but we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. Is this head following me? Soul cranial trauma system? Does that mean improved headshot damage? High velocity barrel for submachine gun. That could be good for uh, ED. Sovereign, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? Yeah, I'll need to look for upgrades first, like that. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Meteorite sample. With traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, Element Zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with Element Zero? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the Galaxy Map program. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. The photographs have a trace chemical residue. It may be visible under another light source. Bryson was not merely <clears throat> tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Alright, uh, Command Shepard. Remains cultivated alive, blah, blah, blah. By Ann Bryson. Age 9. By Ann Bryson. We're 
March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rachni. Their movements during the Rachni Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong, and Rachni weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on the movements of ancient Rachni ships, it may help us narrow our search. You gonna join me, Edie? No? So, Edie, how functional are you as a in a humanoid body. <laughs> I bet Joker was just gonna find out. By Ann Bryson, age nine. This does not seem relevant at the moment. Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Commander, the Dreadnought is in custody, but the Solarians may have surveillance footage. The ambassador will issue a full denial. Several million years old, at least. And its technology outstrips anything on the Council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the hegemony. I'm concerned, Commander. The real Leviathan of Dis, the thing that destroyed the ship, is still out there. Unaccounted for. Irrelevant. The ship is our priority. And as far as the rest of the galaxy is concerned, there is no Leviathan of Dis. There never was. All right. <clears throat> um. Alien sightings. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have not been on the map of possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Further narrow it down. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter now. Uh, anything else to look for? What's this? Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands, it won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart. What the hell does that mean? A locket? The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Oh, you know what? His daughter, maybe. Those appear to be sightings of ships that match Rachni signatures. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Adding it now. By Anne Bryson. Age nine. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? An interesting hypothesis, but I detect no trace of the decryption key in this art. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. We'll take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right, let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Decryption complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? 
Doing so now. I think that's everything I can interact with here. So it should narrow it down to one system. Just double check, make sure there's nothing else. Oh. Reaper activity. Three possibilities. Blackout crimes. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Um. Five possible systems. Reaper activity. Five possible systems. Um, alien sightings. Three. Three possibilities. <laughs> and how about the rachni? Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Three possibilities. I'm missing something here, I think. Blackout crimes. No. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Three possibilities. No, oh, it's this one here. Oh, E0. Element zero deposits. One. We have a match. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garneau. All right, cool. Let's play with his head one more time. <laughs> uh, let's go here. In, uh... Actually, no, let me go here first. Go give that artifact to that one, uh, dude. <clears throat> I think. No, this is... Where am I? Oh, okay. But I want to go see Ashley first. Without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Say the word, I'll punch her. Just like I did that reporter. Biotic amp interfaces, I may be able to adapt for Asari use. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. 
But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. All right. Tell Matriarch Athena that our huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No. Now I'm looking for someone to give this medicine to. Let me just swing around here real quick, see if I can... Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Okay, I need surgery, but when can I get back to the front? You're not. What? Back this all right, well, I'm gonna see Ashley. <clears throat> I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard. Wow. Adina. <laughs> I got your email. Asshole. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. Even the hospital office are pretty nice. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. No, I didn't. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Okay. Get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I, I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at Gunnery Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean, I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, LC. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. <laughs> Who's back on Earth? Mom plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. 
I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. Um, that's all for now. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. Yeah, I, I bought all those things at the beginning. You know, the flowers and the candy and all that shit. Hey, Shepard. Just checking in. Anytime. Nothing new. Okay. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. <clears throat> you too, Shepard. So maybe that maybe that thing I gave her was one of the things I bought. I honestly don't know. This. Let's see what you've got to say, Doc. Hello again, Commander. You're to see our patient. How's Ashley doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion. Same thing as you said before. Observation is all that's needed now. Okay. I'm sure, a visit would be welcomed. Uh, nothing new there. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma cluster. Welcome to Certa. Oh, yeah, let's try to buy this. Save. Or here. Thank you for shopping. Is there a reason why you're punching the window, dude? Thing. Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thing. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Kepril syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Mm. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. 
I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. That's good. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. <clears throat> Until we meet again, Shepard. Primarch Victus has requested a war summit at Council Race. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel. I found this metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Cool. Thank you. Anyone else in here to talk to? You? This lady still crazy. We're at this little farm. Yep. A few enemy scouts. Still crazy. Alright, let's go to Please select the destination. One moment. Go to the embassy and find that one dude. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Where was he at? I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but please, please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Tell me you have found my son. Not yet. <laughs> was that guy at the, uh... Maybe he was in the dock. Pours, eh, Shepard? That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about, <clears throat> rumors flying about the war. People are walking around, eyeballing each other, and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. Mm, nothing new. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anybody here, and I'm not going to buy anything. Although, let me see, is there anything new on this terminal? Digital entry authorization, uh, request the facility done so training soon, sit out there is a fine room, military partners for normally, and only... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to authorize that. Oh, and uh... Yeah, I authorize that too. Uh, that's what Jackass has to say. Things change the more they stay the same. No, I think they said that in all the Fallout games. That phrase, fatalism, not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 <clears throat> billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully, that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. 
work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites in the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical, she might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatras for you. Frankly, it's good Quentius spoke with you. His homeworld is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Mm. Mm, okay. I should go. I'll be here. Eh, he wasn't as bad as I thought he would be. <clears throat> just not sure on... How the, how Anderson, I mean, <laughs> what happened, <clears throat> excuse me, between the last game and this game where Anderson gave up his council seat and Udina picked it up. I'm not sure how that worked out or, right, let me go to the dock real quick. Um, let me just still check here. There's somebody, that's who I'm looking for, I think. I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was one of those, uh, mole men people. Not you. It's not you. At least I thought it was a mole man. Maybe it's, uh... Was it you? No. Not you. Oh, it's you. There it is. I think I've recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in Bay D-24. Reapers. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military Cool. Alright, let's go to... Uh, Commander Shepard, please select a destination. Go to the Purgatory Bar. Moment, and see, uh, was it area? Now arriving at ward level Purgatory. They were refugees. Damn it, it's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their homes, their loved ones, and some con artists swindled them out of what little they have left. Uh, so a couple people here. Oh, that's right. James said he was coming down here. So, where does this take me to? Other than... Okay. How much we can do with this new detail anyway? What are we, a couple of mall cops? I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. I'm telling you, I saw the look in his eye before he started off. A Just seeing if any of these people, uh. It was like, come and get me, Shep. Hey, 
You ready to get this party started? Hey, Mel, you're uh, exact here. Hell yeah, I'm here for the next 48 hours. I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we had the same thought. So, um, the bar's over there, and, uh... Hey, is the whole squad here? Hey, guys! Um, yeah, we were going to, uh, have a guy's night. <laughs> that looks like area almost, is it? Yeah, it is. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Arya, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. I see. And now you've been processed. Is there anything else? Nothing. Thank you. Anytime. I think we're done here. Damn. Enjoy the show, Shepard. Don't know if she had that much power. Rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The what? The man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. <laughs> I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. That's how they kill all their leaders. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Suns leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? She does got a point. Pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Oh, well, we talk now. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got C-Sec eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get Novarian rum here. In other words, I'm in hell. What's your angle on gaining control of the blood pack? Narl will explain it. If we're going to work together, Shepard, you need to trust me. At least a little. I'm not saying I don't, I just, you know. How do we get the blue? Get your own insight. Their leader, <clears throat> Darner Vosk, 
is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One Boy Scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. <laughs> How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. <laughs> I'm going to slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. That actually takes like part of that battle. We'll talk later. I'm sure. She doesn't look too happy, does she? Oh, I see the dance outfits haven't changed. Damn it, morale is pitiful. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die, but they fought for the empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold Paladin. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. The banner of Commander Shepard? I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these bastards. Let's see, so, uh... <clears throat> do I have anything else? Yes, that's... Got that. But, uh, some of these haven't been completed yet, obviously. I, I did like the mission tracking in the last game because it actually showed you the steps you're on. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by a loco. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human, just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Okay. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. <laughs> okay, cool. So how is my uh, reputation thing going here? So, <clears throat> slowly building up. Just upstairs. Well, that's an interesting little dance floor. I mean, I've seen some interesting dance floors in games before, but the one that goes up and down, that's kind of cool. You know, provided the girls don't get sick while they're dancing on it. Oh, God. Let's show you how a white man can't dance. Wow, this is the most energetic dancing he's done. So I'll give him credit on that. Normally he just shuffles from left to right. 
then I wouldn't even shuffling would be a I wouldn't even call it a shuffle. And even the bartenders are getting into it. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go to the lower level. See what's down there. Let's, let me see. Is there anything else on this floor? Nope. Not that I need to worry about. Let's go to the commons. Because <clears throat> I'm sure there's like stores and whatnot on this level, right? Joker's here, really? Gnarl, gnarl, gnarl. Why does that name sound familiar? I remember Gnarl now. He was the Shadow Broker sort of dude. I think. Are you? Them into the Motan cluster. Times of war. Oh no, Narl's. No, that's the bank. No, Narl's over here. No mind. You're not who I think you are. Let's see. What do we got here? Um, I don't have that much money, so. If it exists, we carry it. Huge damage by 15 percent. Uh, that could be beneficial. And reducing its weight. Yeah. Now, as long as I look at it, I'm guessing that it should... Oh, oh I, well, this I gotta get. Can I get our fish? Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. Okay, actually, before I buy this fish... All right. Because <laughs> I had a problem with the fish in the last game. I don't want to have the same problem with this one. Uh, can I... Uh, um, there's some, something I can do with... What's your name? You, uh, they don't die. Um, eh, they still must be fed after every mission or they die. After shepherds surrender, mission. Like chambers, you actually get any fish that were bored. You had been asked here for them. Yeah, shepherd meets her again. Okay, that's cool. Right, so I'll get those fish back. But, um, Oh, cool. That's expensive, but I'll buy it. With the L cost, okay. So that's good to know. So, so apparently we don't have a uh, person that feeds our fish, but uh, there is a, uh, for, a little, for a pretty penny, there's something that will feed our fish for us. But we'll get that. We appreciate your visit. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired. I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. The Alliance can use your help. There's plenty of non-combat roles. Um, thanks. Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? He thinks we could do some good. Okay, I'll look at that recruitment brochure. Cool. Ready to help defend the galaxy? 
I don't need to talk to you. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Presidium Commons. You are on the main promenade of the shopping galleria. Here you will find establishments offering specialized goods and services. For assistance or for information about our special promotion, talk to me or contact the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Um... What's this promotion you mentioned? Producer Jean-Marie Aronisius is donating a portion of all proceeds from her new Blasto movie to the Citadel's Military Defense Fund. Audio excerpts of Blasto 6, Partners in Crime, are now available for your listening pleasure right here on the Presidium. Nah. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Nah, I'm not too interested in... Ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over the vids, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness that we're going through, the same from financial BI, military care will lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Wall Planet, but I'm not selling financial. These are going to the apartments. So obviously, we'll be going to one of these apartments at some point in the game, I imagine. Naro, why does that name sound familiar? I cannot place it. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete. Blood Pack's leader. Oh. Arya brings him the great commander, Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet. I have to look even more powerful than Crete thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard. Want you to know, your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Crete. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him. Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Okay, Green Goblin. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Okay. <clears throat> Man, I mean, the, the, those teeth that those things have. <clears throat> Let's see. Um... Speaking of going, the sanctuary. I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. Of course not. Sanctuary's a scam. What? Used by a oh, count on it. Somebody you're not sure where to go. I don't think I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts oh. If there's any, any people that need my influence. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. No. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not no. I thought that was Morden. It's like talks like him as far as how quickly he talks. I'm afraid I can't help you. But 
your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, or store credits, or anything. I just want my money. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made... Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe. Yeah. Welcome to... All right, let's just... Anything here... Uh, I'll try that. Oh, that could actually be beneficial, but. Welcome to Super Teen Armory. And... Thank you for shopping at Super Teen Armory. Said I hoping I'm hoping by looking through these initially that they become available on the ship, maybe. Because you're limited to two mods per weapon. All right, I need that. I've got to have that, right? Selections include rare technology upgrades from the terminus systems. The all licensed huntresses. Thank you for shopping at Nostra Sporting Goods. Excuse me. Oh, I didn't. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Uh, nothing there. But actually, I can already buy that on the shop. Or on the sh uh, ship. Hey, Edie, what are you doing here? Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. <laughs> How do you know someone is romantically invested? <laughs> They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. <laughs> um, improved your chances? I'm trying to help Joker out. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Hooking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. That's... Hey, Joker. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. Sometimes I think this whole citadel is a mistake. What do you mean? It's out here in the middle of nowhere, defensible, safe. Remember how everyone ignored the Geth threat until Saren's attack? Well, let's hope they listen this time. 
I don't know if we'll be able to save their asses again. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. Did she run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. <laughs> wow. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. I mean, that, that's funny. I'm sorry. I, I do gotta laugh at that. We've got to keep changing behaviors. We should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. There's supposed to be some. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium. Remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Practical. I like it. You can get started by talking to the Volus Barlavon in his office. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Asari Intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in the Salian Nebula and the Olympus. Alright, I'm looking for Soar. Ilium is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Paladin and Earth, the invading force appears... Alright, let me, let me look at this. Let me... There is a um, the Mass Effect 3 fish again. What store? Um, so I'm looking for the Elko's combined arsenal supply. Elko's, sorry. Let's do this again. Look for Elko's. Actually, does it tell me here? No, it doesn't tell me any specific names. That's Casa, or Casa. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds. That's sporting goods. No, no. The C sack. It goes up to the uh, apartments. Elevator. I've looked at that one. I've looked at this one. Oh, it's right there. That's what I want. It's expensive, but my fish won't die. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. All right, cool. That's what I wanted to get. All right. Don't be left out in the cold. Come again. Ask about our full service warranties. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. 
A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. <laughs> I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. All right. <clears throat> Let me see here. Um, I thought Miranda was somewhere here. Um, uh, I could have swore I read something. Well, we need to go there because I need to talk to Kelly because she has my uh, she has my fish. Um, well, Miranda's at the at the dock. Okay, that's where she is. All right, but I think this is where we're gonna call it for now. And uh, we will go ahead and pick this up on a later stream. This way we uh, can finish up Citadel and uh, head out back to the galaxy. So until next time.